Hello, and I'm Yao Bing with the Xinhua News Agency. Today, uh, we are now live streaming at Ancient uh, Breeding and Rescue Center of Xishuan Bana Dai Autonomous Prefecture in southwest China's Yunnan province. Sitting at a lower altitude than most of Yunnan and bordering closely on tropical climate, uh, Xishuan Bana harbors much of the biodiversity uh, in China. And uh, in addition to an abundance of plants, uh, this place is also a safe haven for China's endangered Asian elephants. And uh, today we are at this center uh, to uh, tell you some stories of the elephants rescued here. And uh, here with me is uh, Zhang Fang, uh, the staff of this center. Uh, Ms. Zhang, uh, you can say hi to the audience. Hi everyone, my name is Zhang Fang and I have been working here for almost a year. Mm -hmm. uh, Ms. Zhang, uh, can you take us to uh, visit the elephants living here? Of course, let's go. Okay, uh, so let's go. And uh, as we all know, uh, the Asian elephants uh, are China's uh, class A protected animals with a population uh, mainly scattered in Yunnan's Xishuan Bana and the cities of Fu'e and uh, Lingtang. And over the past two decades, the number of the uh, wild Asian elephants has roughly doubled to uh, nearly 300, thanks to China's efforts to protect the ecosystem and the wildlife education efforts uh, and the government financed feeding programs and also a strict uh, elephant uh, protection law, right? Yes. Yes. And uh, here, here we can see uh, a disinfection rule. So, uh, Ms. Zhang, uh, why do we need uh, such a rule? As we all know, there are lots of bacteria and uh, infection sources mm -hmm. on the surface on, of our skin and clothes. To protect these injured elephants, we must uh, in this infection, everything that goes into the center, mm -hmm. including our clothes and our shoes. Yeah, uh, so everyone uh, must uh, need, need the disinfection before they uh, visit these elephants, right? Yes, right. Yes, okay. So let's have a look. Here we can see our staff there. Okay. This is our baby elephant, Yang Yu. Mm -hmm. She is about uh, two, uh, two years old, okay. and uh, her name is uh, Yang Yu. Yeah, let's have a look. Okay. Yeah, follow us. We can see she mm -hmm. is uh, drinking her favorite goat milk. Yeah. She seems to really enjoy. Yeah, so, so cute. <laughs> You see, uh, she's drinking the goat milk. She yeah, uh, every time uh, Yang Liu uh, will drink 2,000 uh, of this goat milk. Uh, that means uh, each day Yang Liu uh, will drink uh, 32 uh, kilograms of the of this uh, goat milk. And uh, actually, Yang Liu was uh, deserted after her birth in August 2015 and uh, tortured to a villager's home in the city of Pu'e. As the baby elephant was in poor health, the villager called the police for help. The next day, rescues came and took the elephant to Asian Elephant Breeding Rescue Center. Under the care of experts, veter veterinarians and uh, breeders, she is getting better day by day, and uh, her weight has increased from 30, uh, 70, 
seventy-three kilometer kilo, kilograms to four hundred and eighty. She was since she was born mm -hmm. in the year of goat goat in Chinese uh, zodiac, and uh, she drinks uh, goat milk every day. So she got the name Yang Niu, which means a female goat. Yeah, you see, so this elephant is so cute. Uh, yes, and uh, here are two breeders uh, taking care of this elephant. Okay. Uh, so uh, each day uh, these breeders will uh, take Yang Liu uh, to the jungles uh, for wild exercise. Wow, it's so naughty. <laughs> uh, this is useful uh, for his health. Okay, here. And uh, she is uh, playing with a uh, mark on the ground. That's so cute, isn't it? Yes, and I uh, think uh, you must be uh, curious about uh, Yang Liu's room. Let's have a look. Uh, please follow me. Hi. Hi. Come here. Yes, and uh, uh, this is Yang Liu's room. And here at uh, this uh, yeah. pool, uh, we can see some uh, statistics of the uh, Yang Liu. And uh, uh, each day, uh, she sleeps for four times and uh, uh, walked out to the jungles for four hours and uh, come here yeah uh, this is the uh, room for Yang Liu and we could see there are uh, air conditioner uh, and, and there and here this is the bed for Yang Liu and uh, uh, Miss Zhang tells me that when Yang Niu was uh, rescued, uh, four breeders uh, were arranged to take care of her uh, in tents. And uh, besides Yang Niu's room, uh, we yep. see another room here. Let's have a look. Uh, so this is the room uh, for yep. Yang Niu's father. Actually, at this center, uh, most uh, breeders are men and uh, they are called the elephant's fathers because they spend most of their time with these elephants. Let me see, uh, it's bad. And, uh, yeah, this breeder's name is uh, Chen Jilin and who has been Yang Niu's elephant's uh, father. And uh, he tells me that uh, the uh, at the beginning, the breeder slept with Yang Niu uh, in that room, uh, which means in the same room. Uh, but sometimes Yang Niu uh, has slept on the same bed with these uh, breeders, right? Uh, yes. So that uh, Mr. Chen had to uh, move up to the upper leg, and uh, Yang Niu would uh, sleep here. Yeah, you see? This is your bed. Yeah, uh, that's funny. And uh, let's continue to see other elephants. Whoa. <laughs> Yang Niu stands at the door and we can't go out. Yang Niu is very cute and uh, sometimes can be very naughty. Mm -hmm. uh, today, she will be our guest uh -huh. to lead us to visit other elephants. Yeah, to her. that's we can wait to see other elephants. Oh, hi. Hi. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Hey, hey, hey. Ah. Hey,
And uh, it's funny that the center just uh, built this bridge for Yangmiu. And the bridge, the bridge's name is uh, the Princess Bridge. Yes, the Princess Bridge. Uh, so, why do we call this bridge uh, the pri the Princess Bridge? Because the Yangmiu is our little princess, and uh, we all love her. Yeah, and uh, here uh, we see uh, several elephants uh, here. Uh, can you give an introduction to this elephant? Uh, yes, uh, these four elephants uh, were controlled. Uh, to take drugs uh, years ago, and uh, they were rescued here to get uh, physical exercise. Yeah, uh, actually in July 2005, the drug dealers used uh, these four elephants to transport drugs for them. And these elephants were forced to take drugs so that the drug dealers can control them. And uh, then when they uh, crossed the China-Myanmar border, they were seized uh, by the local forester uh, public bureau. And uh, uh, later, uh, these elephants were sent to the Tropical Botanical Garden uh, in Hanan province, right? Yes. Uh, for the drug addiction treatment. Uh, but then, uh, these elephants became too weak. So in October 2008, uh, these four elephants were taken here in Yunnan uh, to receive uh, the uh, physical exercise and uh, here we can see that eight years have passed all these elephants uh, seem to be very healthy oh look there uh, the elephants are playing there mm -hmm. let's uh, have a look yeah let's go and follow our yeah. princess yeah, this is our cat, and uh, over there we can see several elephants are uh, eating food. Yes. So usually, no. what does they eat? Uh, usually, uh, uh, adult elephants will eat 200 uh, kilograms of food, including grass, carrots, and uh, fruits. Okay. So uh, every day, uh, each elephant, uh, how how much food? Because an uh, elephant will eat. They will eat 200 kilograms each day. Oh, and uh, uh, what's the weight of a uh, maybe uh, uh, five tons? Five tons. Five tons. Oh, wow. Three to wow. five so, tons. Yes. So they are giants. So, so it's huge, right? Yes. Oh. Uh, uh, when they uh, oh, no, grow up, they uh, will be uh, uh, little uh, baby elephants at the age of 16, uh -huh. they will give the first uh, baby. And they will give birth to only one baby once a time. Yeah. And uh, we can see so this, uh, this elephant this is uh, Ran Ran. And uh, he is uh, another princess of the. Okay. Yeah, actually, Center. yeah, actually, some uh, some friends on the internet asked that uh, why our elephants don't have uh, the uh, the ivory. But here, actually, we can see uh, this elephant have the ivory. Yeah, we, we can come here, have a look. And uh, I will ask uh, the breeders why some of the elephants uh, don't have the ivory. Uh, 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 Yes, and so uh, this reader tells me that uh, most of the female elephants, uh, they don't have the everyone. But uh, the male elephants uh, will do have the everyone. Yeah, we see they are eating the, the carrot. 
and I will take one to feed them. Yeah, you see? That's so cute. And, and here, uh, and now, uh, although the number of the uh, ancient elephants uh, in China's Yunnan has doubled to nearly 300, they still uh, face the risk of disappearing. Uh, because comparing to uh, the giant pandas, uh, which is a Chinese national treasure, uh, their population is uh, still so small. And uh, uh, several, several reasons that uh, lead to uh, the, the challenges of uh, uh, the, the difficulty of protecting the elephants uh, is that the maybe uh, the fragmented uh, fragmented landed of these elephants. And now we see uh, this Yang Niu, she's oh, playing oh, oh, with the football. Oh, Let's have a look. Hey. Oh, oh. It's so cute, right? Oh. <laughs> I will play with them. Oh, oh. I will play with her. Hey, Yang Liu, come here. Maybe we have so many people. She's not uh, share, right? She don't want to share her f uh, football with uh, other elephants. Actually. Why? <laughs> she wants to play it uh, by herself. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's so cute. Ah, come on. Hey. And uh, this is a new football, so she is so excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they are playing football. So, <laughs> see, her nose is so <laughs> flexible. <laughs> are interesting about the oh. elephant's nose. Uh,可不可以介绍一下，就是有网友关心说这个大象的鼻子这么灵活，是天生的还是训练出来的？它这是天生就有的本能，因为它的鼻子有十五万条肌肉组成，它是没有骨骼，所以它比较灵活。所以
an iron clamp. And here we still could see this injury. Uh -huh. But you see now, uh, Nan Nan has grown up a big guy. And she is very healthy. Football. Just don't care of us. And uh, here are some pictures uh, when Yan Yan was rescued. And, uh, and and here and here we see a picture of Yan Yan and uh, uh, William Prince, Duke of Cambridge. Actually, in 2005, William uh, Prince visited this center and uh, took several photos with uh, Yan Yan and uh, here here let's have a have a race let's have a race with Yang Liu yeah I will run with Yang Liu hey let's go wow your new runs so fast. Hey, hey, let's go. Your boots. You see, she runs very fast. Oh, she likes this for. Let's go. <laughs> so you see, ah. the elephant runs very fast. So if you encounter ah. an elephant in the world, you just have to keep away from them because yeah, 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 yeah. it's very dangerous. Ah, And uh, for those who just uh, joined us, we are now last streaming at an Asian Elephant Breeding and Rescue Center of Jishuan Banda in southwest China's Yunnan province. Today we are going to tell you some stories of these elephants rescued here. Yeah, and you see these elephants, some of them are playing football and some of them are eating the carrot. Yes, and uh, this young girl is just about two years old. And uh, now her weight is 480 ah. kilograms. Ah. And here is uh, Xiao Chang and uh, Yan Yan. And actually, Yan Yan has a story of her name. Uh, because the rescue was not so easy. When the rescues are helping Yan Yan, oh. whoa, <laughs> she slept to the jungle and the rescuers had to make great efforts again to find her and uh, start the rescue plan. So during the rescue, this elephant called her name, Yan Yan, meaning coming from nature and the best wishes for going back to nature. Wow, well, see, Xiao Chang is sleeping on the ground. What does well he do? 
See, he, he's eating the grass on the ground. Oh. It's so naughty. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we know that Asian elephants are China's pro class A protected animals, and with the population mainly scattered in Yunnan, Sichuan, Bana, and the cities of Pu'er and Lingtang. And uh, over the past two decades, the number of the ancient elephants has uh, roughly doubled to nearly 300. Thanks to China's efforts to protect the ecosystem, government financed feeding program, wildlife education efforts, and a strict elephant protection law. Although for the past few years, China's efforts to protect the ecosystem have helped the wild elephant's numbers grow, but as their numbers grow, more territory and more food are needed, and thus conflict between beast and man is inevitable. So the government built some food bases or elephant canteens in the land of mountainous area for, to provide food for wild elephants and built conservation corridors yeah. to reduce the conflict. Though the number of Asian elephants in China's Yunnan province has roughly doubled to nearly 300 over the past two decades, but their population is much less than that of the giant pandas, China's national treasure. And according to some research, despite the great number, Wild Asian elephants are still at risk of disappearing in China. And because Sichuan Bana is home to most of the China's Asian elephants, uh, this breeding and uh, rescue center was established here. And since its establishment, altogether 15 elephants have been rescued. And uh, now, none of them are living here. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, and some not users say thanks to these breeders. Of course, there are some users who say thanks to uh, attention about these breeders. Hey, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, all together, uh, we have uh, 22 breeders here at this center. Yes, and here at this space, uh, at this center, uh, the breeders will work for 24 hours uh, with this, all these elephants. Yeah, yeah they are so cute. And uh, each day, uh, the breeders will take all these elephants out for wild exercises for about eight hours. And after that, the breeders will feed them and help them take take shower and clean, of course, clean their rooms. Oh, 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 oh.
Curses. Okay, uh, since each day, uh, all these elephants will uh, receive the wild exercises for about eight hours. And uh, uh, now, let's follow them to see uh, how their uh, wild exercises is going on. Yeah, let's go. Yes, and uh, for those who are just uh, joining us, we are now live streaming at Asian Elephant Breeding and Rescue Center of Xishuan Ban in southwest China's Yunnan province. And today we are going to show you why some of these elephants are here and how their daily life is. And now we are going to see uh, what is their wild exercises is. Let's go. <laughs> so every day the breeders will take these elephants out in the mountains for wild <coughs> exercise. Let's have a look what's going on there. He actually he does not eat but just play. Yes. So actually, each day, uh, an elephant will eat two or three hundred kilograms food, uh, including uh, grass, carrots, or fruit at uh, this center. And altogether, this center has rescued about uh, rescued 15 elephants, <coughs> and nine of them are now living here. You see, they seem to be very healthy. <coughs> yes, we are going to the mountains for wild exercises. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Wow, Xiao Chang is maybe afraid of the... Hello guys, for those who are just joining us, we are now live streaming at an ancient elephant breeding and uh, rescue center of Xishuan Ban in southwest China's Yunnan province. And today we will show you some of the stories of these elephants rescued here. And now we are going to see what their wild exercise is. 
as you see, Jan Jan stops there. And doesn't move. Actually, she is bending the food and eating. This is the Xiao Chao. And he's a boy, he's a naughty boy. We see, he has two avarice. Oh, they just stop there. Maybe they find something delicious. Really, if they find something delicious, they will stop uh, to eat. Okay, over the past uh, two decades, the number of the Asian elephants of China's Yunnan has roughly doubled to nearly 300. Uh, thanks to uh, China's efforts to protect the ecosystem and the uh, government financed uh, feeding program, wildlife education efforts, and a uh, strict uh, elephant protection law. Although the number of these elephants has doubled, uh, their population is uh, uh, much less than that of the giant pandas, the Chinese national treasure, uh, which means all these pandas, uh, all these elephants are still at risk of disappearing. Now we are waiting for these two elephants to uh, receive the wild exercise. You see, uh, they are eating uh, grass here and don't want to move. And we will wait for them for a few minutes. Actually, each elephant will eat two to three kilograms food each day. And altogether, this center has Together, this center has rescued 15 elephants till now, and nine of them are living here. The rest are uh, going back to the nature. And here we have 22 breeders at this center who will take care of these elephants for 24 hours each day. And each morning, Breeders will clean their room, the elephant's room, and then take the elephant out in the mountains to receive wild exercise. And after that, the breeders will help these elephants to take shower and uh, uh, feed them. You see, now we are waiting for these elephants who are eating the delicious food here. Now, we can't wait for these two elephants. We will see how the wild exercise is going now. Let's have a look.
So you still remember this baby elephant? Her name is Yang Miu. Because she was born in 2005, in the year of Chinese zodiac, uh, in the in the year of goat, uh, in Chinese zodiac, and she drinks goat milk till now. So she got her name Yang Miu, which means a female goat. She's so cute. And each day, she will come out to receive the wild exercise, uh, which is useful for her recovery and uh, keep, keep the wild nature of these elephants. Uh, actually, in this, actually in this center, uh, we have more female elephants than the male elephants. But actually, we do have male elephants. For example, uh, this baby elephant, his name is uh, his name is uh, Xiao Chang. And I would say he is a male elephant. You can see his ivory here. Yes. Uh, because you know, most of the female elephants uh, don't have the ovaries. Hey, so this one has two ovaries. Four ovaries, right? Yes, the breeder tells me that at this center, uh, we have uh, five male elephants and uh, four uh, female elephants. And now they are receiving the wild exercise. So, okay. Yeah, we see several female elephants don't have the tusks, uh, but uh, some of the uh, male elephants do have the uh, tusks. For example, this Xiao Chang, he has passed. Hmm. 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 So actually some net uses concerned about why can't we see some uh, male uh, elephants here? Uh, because uh, at the center we just uh, see more female elephants. But in the world, uh, actually uh, we don't encounter with them because it is too dangerous. Now, since they are rescued here, they build a good relationship with all these breeders and they are friendly to us. So you see, at here, we can touch or stay so closely with this elephant. But in the wild, uh, if you encounter an elephant in the wild, you just keep away from them, okay, because it's too dangerous. Uh, and now, let's ask the breeder why this uh, why do these elephants need wild exercise?那前面我们介绍一下，就是为什么我们每天需要把它们捞出来，也也发出去。它的目的的话，主要就是为了它以后放归自然，提供长期条件。第二的话，对它的身体康复还是有一定的帮助。它比如说在建设的话，
each day these elephants will receive about eight hours wild exercise so that they can uh, receive the survival skills training, uh, survival skill training, and keep wild nature uh, so that one day if uh, they uh, recover from their injury and can adapt to the nature, they will come back to the jungle, of course. Uh, these breeders will let them go uh, to the jungle because uh, they come from the nature and uh, their home is there. Just this center is just their temporary home. Yes, and each day these elephants will walk into the forest for about eight hours to find food or to have a rest. And uh, all these breeders will accompany with them. See, this young girl, she's very naughty and so cute. Hi, say hi, say hi to the audience. Hello, say hi. Hello, hello. 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 Hello, and uh, uh, she is over uh, two pounds. <laughs> okay, actually, elephants will have uh, not just one wife. Yes, let's see. Let's say hi to the audience. Yan Yan. Do the chinto start to go to bed. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, then you say say saying goodbye to for you guys. And I think uh, that's all for today's live show. We hope you enjoy our show. If you like it, you can share it with your friends on your Twitter, Facebook, and uh, YouTube account. And thanks for joining us. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye. 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 Bye so, goodbye, and welcome to Yunnan.